Hello and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9 map by Hermitcraft. Been a while again, been a while. Terraria is just so annoying right now. <laughs> it's just looking through inventory and fighting a boss and losing really badly. But we are so close to to winning against this boss, so that's why it keeps on going. But I'm going to try and continue the balance of Hermitcraft. I'm doing okay so far. 3 to 1 is... It's the, it's the max I think you can go to. Um, but yeah, we're back here. I can't really remember everything we were at. I remember we were, in the, we were on the final path. Um, I remember the ice farm, but I think that's about it. I'm just flying over just to see the light sources. Is that lava? That's something. Oh, no, it's lava. Whoa, that was a bit too... You just crashed then. So, yeah, we can just have a look at this base over here then, just before we move on. That's just a village. This base looks very redstone-y. <laughs> yep, it's got redstone all over. Oh, that's doing something. Hmm. Okay, so that goes down there. That goes into the hoppers? No? Uh, well, it probably, but the hoppers go to... Okay, it's using bone meal. Oh, you're, you're making warped funguses. This is a warped fungus farm. Oh, it feels like a bit of a waste of bone meal. But hey, there's that. Um, and then I'm guessing this is the warped fungus tree farm. I wonder how they... How do you harvest like these trees? Because they are really awkward to harvest. Okay. Oh, look, we have a tree. Let, let's see what it does. Okay. Is it doing something? Huh. Um. Oh, wait. It's probably really... Tr it's trying to grow. Regrow a tree. Okay. That's fair. Um... Okay, I think that's everything here. Um, ooh. What just happened there? Um, where was I? <laughs> ba, 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 I think... Yeah, oh. Have I just lost what I was going to say? I think that's everything then. Let's go back through the ice portal. Um, this was a little one, and then there was another one we were on. So, we're... Okay, I remember now. So, in the, in the Neverlike realm, we're on a path of a path. Technically, on a path, so... It should be alright. It should just only take a few seconds to load back in, hopefully. And then I think we're just going straight ahead on to, like, a further one. I think the next area is going to be larger than this one. But, yeah, we have seen most of it. We are... We're actually coming to a close soon with this map. That's crazy to think. Uh, Minecraft haven't released any new maps recent, Apart from Kung Fu Panda, but I missed... I kind of missed the vibe for that, like, the hype. So, um, I'm going to give that one a miss. No one's commented yet, so I don't think it's too important. Here we go. Oh, no. Have you kicked me out? You have, haven't you? Oh, great. Okay, I think this is the path back. Okay, there's the ice farm. That's good. And then there's a portal further behind. I think that's the one we're next going to. Okay, is there any behind? Nope. Gosh, this makes me want to play Minecraft more. <laughs> um, where are we looking through here? Anything? No. Hey, maybe we should do another cut, like a... Not our oh great I went through the wrong one. Maybe we should do another like Curse Filter has so many mods. Maybe we should do another one. We just give it a go. I really do want to do like mod reviews for singular mods, but I think with Curse Filter you only really get mod packs, so it's a bit of a bummer there. Um, who knows? Who who knows? I, I might have a look. Maybe maybe when it gets a bit quieter. All right. Anything. Anything at all. Oh, okay, let me see if there's any comments to read. Um, seeing as I'm really, really stuck right now. <laughs> just in, in the <laughs> never limbo, basically. Um, right then, let's see. Um, okay, wow, we're back. Don't need to be here. Oh, great. That's so great. Thank you, Minecraft. Let's just restart. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of data. Okay, just create. Don't delete Timbo's land, but I don't even remember what this one was. Yeah, let's just delete that one. Let's just play it safe. I mean, my world. There's probably nothing interesting on my world. All right, let's delete that. Goodbye. I don't know how... Oh, great. Okay. Um, let's just delete whatever this map is. Chris Carr. I don't even know what that means. It's so old now. Goodbye. Okay, now we should have enough space. There we go. Why has Minecraft just decided to take up more space? Like, the game... The amount of storage the game holds is so embarrassingly low. Like, you can only have, like, one world. Like, Timbo's Land takes up all of it. 
Okay, whilst I'm whilst it's trying to load, uh, let's see the comments. Do do do. Right here we go. Um. Okay. Oh, people have been commenting about Hermitcraft. Um. Tried to download it on my mobile, but it just. Oh, I can't even speak. Tried to download it on my mobile, but it would just go to full download and then fail. Don't know what's. Go I think it's just because the map is so large. Um. I mean, I'm on PlayStation right now and it's struggling real bad. Um. And then. Do 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 do. That's most of it. Yeah, most of the other ones are quite um fluid. Alrighty, um I don't really know what to do. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Why is Minecraft like this man? Just let me load in. I it's just decided to be like this one day. Like seriously? Seriously, seriously. Oh gosh, these these are the really awkward episodes. It's not gonna load in, is it? Um, hmm, hey, maybe, okay, here's an idea, oh, oh no, because then it would have to come under a Timber episode, uh, um, Timber Minecraft episode, actually, okay, if it fails slow, let's go on Timbo's land, because I do want to show you guys what I've done recently, there has been a bit of progress, it, I haven't been on it in ages, but I can, re I remember doing a lot of progress, and like, there being no video, because I need people to join, Full Fat's quite busy. Um, most of the old hoppers aren't really even on Minecraft anymore, so it's kind of just we're just struggling to get by. Um, but yeah, I can show you what's going on. Okay, yeah, screw you, Hermitcraft. Now let me play a map that's even larger than the Hermitcraft map. Wait, how does that even work? How is Hermitcraft smaller than my map? Oh, and of course, of course, it loads really nice and well. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so Minecraft. But yeah, I can show. You. I think the um, so it, for any new people, um, we kind of had just a series where we'd build like a whole town, like um, uh, over like a like a mini series, and then like every episode would just be a new building. And yeah, this is so we did an Egyptian like Las Vegas themed town before. The season before that was just building a home, and now we have a um, we're on the medieval town, and this is all new. So this is what I've been just testing out. I think it looks really nice. Um, there's last time I was on here was before like trials and trails, whatever it's called, trails and trials. So this is new. It took me quite a while to find this. Actually, it took me a lot longer to find the mangrove trees. That is why the world is now like a gigabyte because I was traveling for three to five hours. I would say of just walking in one straight line. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got the trees. I have the frogs as well. I think they're in my inventory. But I needed to do a frog farm. That could be an episode maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll, and then I've cut down loads of trees. I've also started cutting down the, the mountain. So I've just like removed the dirt. I'm just going to go layer by layer. Um, but yeah, this this is just rock right now. Um, this bit would be quite easy to remove, I think. It still take ages, but compared to like the rest of the mountain, this is like half of it already gone. Um, it's cool how it um, starts from like one block as well. I quite like that. Um, and yeah, there's that. So that's the town mainly. I'm trying to think of what else I've added. Um, oh yeah, I think that the arch is new there. That's just like plotting out a, a um, plotting out an exit or an entrance to the area. So the plan for this is is to have like a massive wall, like spreading all the way around the whole town. Um, pretty like like it's gonna be like double the size of that like castle there. So it's it's gonna be a scary wall. <laughs> um, trying to think of what else. This house I haven't finished yet. This is the last episode we did on the map, I think, where we, me and Fulfa built two houses. I saved my house. I it does it did not look like this in the episode, but I think I've saved it quite well. It looks really medievally. Um, just nice and cozy on the inside. Yeah, nothing too bad. Um, by the way, if we do do another episode of this, I will go through all of this again because this is not going to be titled as a Timbo's Land episode, so nothing to fear. Oh wait, I furnished this too. Um, cool. This is it through here. It looks quite nice, I think. Again, it's actually managed to fit the medieval vibe all right. And another um, just attic. I think I built one of them in the honey place uh, or the beehive area. And now we have candles as well, so it's going to look even cooler. Um, and then, yep, yeah, this is just an area I've just cut down for cherry trees now. It will be built. I'm thinking of either having a forest here or just maybe a forest with like a shack or two or just more houses. Because the houses are going to struggle to fit in quite badly. 
we've got this little tower as well. I'm going to build a tower here and another tower there. So it's kind of like just mini, like, steeple towers. Um, and it's just, it's kind of like a mini, just, like, guard base. I think it looks quite well. Um, and then you just got the stairs here. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this build, actually. It didn't take too long as well, only, like, 20 minutes. And it, it it's, like, added to the skyline so well, so well. And, yeah, it's a nice um, skyline, like, guard tower here. You can kind of see all the roofs. The roofs are really amazing, actually. We still need a lot more houses, but... I'm seeing the I'm seeing a town form, and I'm gonna try not to die, right through here. Oh yeah, I started digging out this as well. I think that's the last thing I was doing, so the project's like half done. Um, but it, it looks quite nice. The mode looks a bit more natural now. Um, I think I only went this far and then stopped. Um, what else is there? How long have we going for? Ten minutes. Sorry for this such a skew with episode, by the way. Um, we might as well do the thumbnail here and <laughs> clickbait you guys and think like we saw most of Hermitcraft. We don't actually see anything new here apart from an, an a never walk farm. Um, we built this. I cut all of this down as well. This is where the next place is going to be. So we're all ready to go. Um, it's just timing with everything. Like that's all the in ingredients for the next build. It's going to sit here. Um, I think I've cut down all the trees here as well. Just made a path. This is also where the next steeple tower is going to be, just here. Um, and then yeah, it's just been cut down and emptied. I think I added a bit more to the wall as well, so the wall goes down there. And yeah, I think that's most of it. Just quite a nice little area. Um. I can't believe I'm going to title <laughs> I'm a craft episode with this. I never really clickbait, but this is kind of cheeky. But I, I'm not technically lying. We are in a Hermitcraft video, and we have seen like a medieval kind of theme, but I guess it just wasn't the video one. But hey, new viewers, meet Timbo's Land. And new viewers, if you like Timbo's Land or see a potential, I would, I'd be happy to do more. Um, to try and get people on, maybe. Just keep on nagging them. <laughs> um, yeah, it could work, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, let me just go to sleep and then we'll end it in a cool place. This is, after playing Hermitcraft and going onto this map, this really makes me want to just continue playing this map for ages. Maybe. Maybe when it quietens down, which is only in a few weeks, actually. Um, I think it gets quiet by, like, the 21st of May, so that's not too long. The videos are going to be quite cheap and tacky until then, just because it's easier just for the daily streak. But then, yeah, after the 21st, 21st of May, I'll have more time to put effort into Minecraft. And then do more stuff, right? Where are we going to put the thumbnail? I mean, flying around, this does look like quite a Hermitcraft kind of world. <laughs> Is that too too much to say, or am I overemphasizing this world? I'll show you guys the Egyptian town as well for any new people. Um, I think you can kind of see the coolest building above. Like, it, it's okay throughout. It's it, it's a nice town. I'd never really built, like, a town town before. Be like, town going on the city. Like, there's underground railways and all sorts. Um, I guess I could show you for the past like, few minutes. Um, there's the Sphinx. Oh, this is giving memories. This is bringing back loads of memories. Um, Osiris, the Pillar. This is all of it here. I mean, this could go for a Hermitcraft town. I can imagine flying past it and be like, whoa! Um, like, the buildings aren't as cool as Hermitcraft, but there's a lot of buildings. Um, yeah. Where's the best spot to see it? I think upstairs here, on top of the palace. That's a art gallery, I think. Pyramid. This is like where the pharaoh would do all of his speeches. So the pharaoh is Gary, canonically. <laughs> Gary the Lama. Uh, this is his palace. He just kind of lived in our living room in the house, which is just beyond the... That's like the house there. Um, it's a very, like, fluid house. It's very, like, skinny. Um, but there's lots of rooms. But, yeah, Gary kind of just lived in the living room there. And they were like, you know what? You can be... You can be... Um, uh, pharaoh. <laughs> and then... Yeah, you get a pretty good view. Nearly, there's the lighthouse for Alexandria. That was my, I think that's one of my top, like, ten favourite builds to do. It was so easy and it looks just so well. It's like the Seaboard Towers. Um, yeah, there's most of the village. Beyond that, like, those, like, that bridge there, you see there's, like, a villager place. So just loads of small villages. There's a temple. Um, statue shop, that cool one there. Um, bowling. Library with the script kind of running down it. There's an ank. Chair. And then that's like the home base, that's where all the farms are and stuff like that. Um, okay, this is a risk. Oh gosh. And, um, where should I end it? I guess we could go. Um, bah, bah, bah. Oh yeah, I can show the subway system as well. It's it's so cool because it's so hidden, like, you never really see it, but it goes, it goes around a little bit. So this is what, there's like three of these stations around. We've got our Kanatan station. Uh, this one here, it's just outside the temple. Is there a minecart? Nope, I'm just going to have to run it. Um, but yeah, it's it's very basic on the inside. Um, 
I mean, because it's so hidden, like, I didn't put too much effort into it. Do, 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 do. Um, really cramped station as well. I don't even know if Las Vegas even has an underground uh, train. I know New York does, but trains aren't really popular in America. Um, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And... There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is the main station. Pretty cool. This is like the, the big, cool underground station. Um, even though it looks really, like, small and cramped. <laughs> Just through here you've got... Um, right, up up here as well goes to, like, the, cent the central part of town, if you will. Um, I guess where we were was like the, the business hub or like the government area. Um, so these, these other pyramids here are the two train stations for that station up there, which goes to the medieval town. That's like our overarching train line. Um, and then, yeah, you've got like a, there's the Egyptian shack, a casino for Las Vegas. That's a cat palace there. Little, um, bathing area as well. That was quite a nice build. I think that, um, near the end of this series, I did loads of off camera builds and I think this is one of them because it's, it's not really worth an episode, but. I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like really exotic, so I guess I did the vibe pretty well. Yeah, that's actually a really cool build. Sorry, I've completely forgotten about these builds, so <laughs> I'm just remembering how um, just building them. It takes a while. And then, yeah, we have the lighthouse there, and then the villager. Oh, this is grand music. I'll just quickly show you the... Uh, yeah, this is what some of the towns look like here. Um, what I'll do is I'll... I'm going to run to the next train station, get the train back, and then I'll show you the town on top of the the path so i think here is a temple this is like just like loads of stuff coming around it's like the bazaar the main area um we did this all in the egyptian texture pack as well which was pretty cool i think it's just a temple with pots in yeah <laughs> um i guess it's just like a trading area little um i think this is a really just narrow house that looks pretty cool yeah it looks egyptian yeah like such a tiny house does anyone even live up here no <laughs> couldn't fit the, couldn't fit the space um, we've got, again, just another little house with a banner on top. Oh, banner. Our banner's carrying the house. Um, yeah, just loads of little townhouses here. Looks quite nice. Um, and then this is like the the main houses, if you will. This is just the... <laughs> this is a hotel, I guess you can say. Um, sorry for shutting the door on you. This, one of my helpers did this one. This, this house is like the, the big, like, rich house, I guess you can say. Um, it looks really good, though. It really fits the vibe. Um, style of building is really different as well, which adds, again, to making it feel like a real city. Um, what else is there? Maybe I could get this helper back on, actually. Yeah, maybe. It just looks really cool. Um, you get a good view, actually. So you have all of this over there. That's where the station is. It's somewhere over there. Farmland. Is that a cat there as well? <laughs> um, I guess this is where you see, like, the realistic side. Like, oh, wow, the city is actually moving. Um, this is another, like, this is like just a workplace. <laughs> um, it's just a building just for <laughs> one job. And then more houses here. These are, like, fishermen's houses. Um, it's nice and plain. I was kind of running out of things to do, so they do get a bit basic sometimes. This is just a well, and, like, a little river going from here. Um, and, yeah, more farming there. It's really nice to sail, that, but, like, down. What's that village doing over there? But you've got, like, little, like, um, dock, dock, docks there. Uh, Hubba Bays, and then this is where it leads out. I think maybe one future way of transport is going to be a motorway with horses. So this is where the motorway would start. Uh, or, like, it would lead out onto. Um, but right now it's just a path. Um, and then, yeah, I'll run to the village and I'll just finish off there. Run to the station. And then we can get the train back to Medieval World. I know this, this has been such a weird episode. But, hey, this is Timbo's Hermitcraft. So if any of you guys wanted to join this in a, in a series, join the Discord. And you can become a helper. Um, yeah. That would work really well. Um, oh no, this is for the train station here. This is the one here. I'll just show you the other side. So we have a sugarcane tower as well. It looks more like a cactus in like the plant pot, but it's a sugarcane tower. Unfortunately, it's just for design purposes. This is a house with just the locals here. <laughs> um, yeah, just a cozy little house. Really nice. And then we've got... Oh no, that's the station. Wait, if that's the station there, then what's that? We've got this weird thing that I just decided building one time. Um, and this is the exit of town here. It does just, just kind of stop. This this would be like a, a walking route to the medieval town. But that's like a path so far in the future. So I'm not worried about that yet. I just want to see what was actually downstairs in that weird looking pyramid. It might just be another like mini temple. That's my guess. But no idea. What is down here? Goes far down. Oh wait, you can go into the cactus town. I forgot about this. This is cactus tower. Um, 
I mean, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really that cool. It's just, it's got blocks of stairs. You know, when a building's got blocks of stairs, it's not the best. Um, but I didn't actually, I actually didn't realize you could go into it. Um, now I remember building this mini pyramid because because we couldn't really do a door because then all the cactus would just fall over. So it was like, all right, let's just do this top bit. One of my helps that's accidentally he thought it was a cactus farm, so he removed not cactus. He thought it was a sugarcane farm, so he removed all the sugarcane from like the bottom. Um, that was a very boring task to rebuild, especially because we ran out of sugarcane. So that's why there's walls there, I think. So it's like, you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, because... Also, in case you like actually like swing your hand around and you accidentally knock it. Um, and yeah, we can just get the train back. Just more little bazaars here. And then we've got like pyramids behind the hotel. Um, that's an actual pyramid in real life, that one there. Um... And then, again, this is like a mini pyramid town. So there's actually like beds and like um temples in in some of those and then yeah we'll just get the train train and we are done so this is the last one i think whose station is this i think it's have a cleopatra or nefertari let's have a look nefertiti that was close um and yeah just a farming kind of one some of the wheat did get removed though which is a shame um do i have seeds no all right let's see we have a minecart as well which is pretty good Goodbye. Oh, no, I'm not going to have enough energy, am I? Sweet. Um, but, yeah, this is a really nice town. I would love to, like, reset the series, continue again, because it's so fun. It, it It's one of the only, like, own things I do, apart from the Torero series, but even then, that's based on, like, all the mods. I'm kind of just following what the mods want. But this is, like, the my sole kind of... Not purpose, but my sole own creation, creation. So it's really nice there. Um... Like with mods are great, mods really do good episodes, but I like I just like the veneer of this and like I can create whatever I want to, which is quite nice. Um But yeah, it just takes so much time, that's the only issue. And like some the vids don't do well in general. Like, cause they're not really received. No one knows Timbo's Land. Everyone knows Kung Fu Panda format, but yeah, Timbo's Land is a bit more hidden, so that's why I mainly switched to more like um popular stuff if you will and i'd still happy to do both but and maybe who knows if timbo gets to a nice number where it's like sustainable um i'd happy to do more of this but yeah this is why it's tucked away like the effort for the outcome was just not really working um oh that's one of my cats luna oh that's one of my helpers cats and then this is the main station i just take you back to medieval town so yeah that's the skyline it looks really nice i think took ages though Actually, it didn't. It wasn't too bad because everything took make was made out of sandstone. So of course, some things took longer than others, like that hotel. Um, wait, there's people living in the hotel. That's sick. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, and like, once we finished the Egyptian place, we were like, okay, medieval place. It's gonna be exactly the same amount of time. So that's where we're a bit more wary of it. I guess there's more upgrades I can do now that do speed up time, like, um, like elytra wings. We're saving the Ender Dragon for like episode 100, so um, no worries there. And this is the the station for medieval, the whole medieval town. It's because it's secretly under a tavern because, I mean, trains aren't really as popular in medieval times. So um, kind of just hiding here. And then this is the medieval shack right here. It's just a little building. The first building that always gets built, and it's like where we mainly, the, the HQ mainly, <laughs> even though it's not really much for HQ. And then once we finish the build, all the chests move into the shack. So they're all outside right now, but they'll move in soon. And yeah, that's it. Um, I guess we get a thumbnail with the new buildings. Um, yeah, just here. Yeah, you know what? Does the does this kind of match up to Timbo from, to Hermitcraft thumbnails? Or Timbo's Land thumbnail? I mean, it's okay, I guess. Um, boop, boop, boop. There you go. Not as cool as Hermitcraft, but I mean, it still makes quite a nice thumbnail. So, who am I to judge? So anyway, then hope you enjoyed this episode today. Then hope you enjoyed the little sidetrack as well. Hermitcraft's just being iffy and. I know I was kind of on a roll of recording, so I was like, let's just let's just continue it on. Um, but yeah, there will be a normal Hermit Craft episode, maybe tomorrow, just to make up for it. But yeah, sorry for the clickbait as well. But I just hope you enjoyed seeing something new. Um, so anyway, then hope you enjoyed this episode today. Then be sure to like, subscribe to me in this cozy little medieval house. We'll see you all next time. Then see ya.